Hello everyone, it's Michael Teal with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I will show you how to set some hot keys in your OBS Studio so you can rapidly transition between various scenes that you've set up. Let's get started. So what's a hotkey? A hotkey is a key on your keyboard that you can set up where you can rapidly transition between various scenes that you've set. All right, so let's say you want to set up a hotkey and I would just say something like F4. So I've got an F4 key on my keyboard here, one of the function keys that I've set as a hotkey. Here's how you do it. All right, so what you're going to want to do is hit up here in the file area and go to settings. So file settings and you will see a hotkeys section. So when you select that, the thing is you hear as you're cruising down here, you're going to see you can set hotkeys for an infinite amount of things. So I'm not going to belabor that. What I'm going to say though is if we look down to a few that I've set and you can set whatever key you want. So for example, you see this quick transition cut one. I'm going to delete that for a second. And all you need to do is put your cursor in an area and then select a key. So I'm going to select F3. I'm going to push that and you're going to notice that it shows up directly there and then I can hit apply. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply, but I want you to just look at the, the keys that I've set. So I have F3 as a quick cut trans transition. I have a fade. You can see I've even set the milliseconds on that. I've got a move transition. Now move is a very powerful transition. Uh, I'll show you how that works and then a slide. So I have an F3, F4, F6, F7 as my transition. So I'm gonna hit F3 real quick. F3 on my keyboard, boom, that's a cut. Okay, cut, 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 cut. So depending on if you want that cut transition, you can have it. Now F4 I set as my fade, right? That's at 500 milliseconds. So that's, I feel like I'm like a 1980s guitarist right now. Did, did, did it. Okay. The cut, fade, cut, fade. Okay. Got some different ones. I think I set F7 as a, uh, as a slide transition. Okay. And then you're going to notice I've got a little bit of pink tape. That's my very elegant way that that's my go-to transition. That's the move transition. All right. I'll set up next week's episode on how to do the move transition. As a bonus, if you want to go into OBS, they have a, a series of plugins and you can download the information for the move transition yourself. But that gives you this next level type transition. But again, that's not quite a baby step. That's the next step up there. But you can see, you can set up the hotkeys and set these transitions as you want. So cool stuff. That's exactly how you do it. Now, the, the non-baby step is if you use something like the Elgato, let's see if I can get that. That's If you can get the Elgato Stream Deck going, and this is where you can set up within OBS various hotkeys that can control scenes. So then you're really cooking with gas and you have the ability to essentially turn this into a physical hot key switcher for you. So then you can really focus in on your message, your presentation and have your buttons here. So would highly recommend checking out the Elgato Stream Deck. It's a great, great tool. There's a lots of great documentation on that. So hopefully in this video, you can see you can set up hot keys on a keyboard or you can level it up and get something like the Elgato Stream Deck. So hopefully that was valuable for you. Stay tuned for next week when we'll look at the move transition. In the meantime, thanks so much for tuning in. Make it a great day.